Petrius apex granulomas are benign growths that are diagnosed by imaging studies. This patient presented with a sixth nerve palsy and uh, had a recurrence after a middle cranial fossa approach failed. There are several approaches to this, and we're going to do the endoscopic uh, transnasal approach. Using a merged CT and MR shown here, the red dot indicates the carotid artery as we are planning this removal. We're going to stay just uh, medial to the carotid artery, and uh, as we can see on this next view, which shows the green dot, which was an intraoperative view, that we opened up the petrous apex at its medial aspect. The approach is done through a transnasal, transphenoidal endoscopic approach. Uh, this is extended uh, approach for a pituitary where we have to drill more inferiorly to expose the clival region where this uh, entrance and drainage point of the petrous apex is. So as we're drilling along the anterior wall along its floor, we're going to lower that uh, completely to gain access. We're drilling the lateral portion to gain access also. We can see the cell is straight ahead. The clivus is right here with the carotid arteries on both sides. We're going to be using image guidance throughout to help us uh, view the apex of the granuloma as its entrance point. Again, we have to drill down the anterior wall uh, almost flush to the floor of the sphenoid sinus. Again, this is image guidance. As we start our drilling on the clivus, we're starting in the mid portion, and we're going to move to the patient's left side, which is right on the screen, which is where the lesion is. That's going to be just medial to the carotid artery. Um, as we go more posteriorly to the clivus, there's the dura, which is just over the um, basilar artery. So we don't want to go through the clivus, and yet we want to stick as close as possible to the carotid artery, obviously without injuring it. So we're going to be moving towards the carotid on patient's left side. As we move more lateral, we continue the drilling. We're getting closer to the carotid artery. We've changed over to a diamond burr, which is a less aggressive burr. And uh, slowly undercutting the bone here to gain access to the petrous apex granuloma uh, cystic wall cavity. Still have to undercut a little bit until we can expose that cyst wall, which we see here. Our, exposure, our bony exposure is about four to six millimeters in size. We can't go any further posteriorly. And we're at the tip of the apex here. We've exposed that opening. We're now going to puncture it and release the granuloma fluid under which is under tension. It's green and viscous. This is suctioned out and eventually um, we're going to irrigate this cyst cavity. We're going to try, try to maintain its opening by cutting back the cyst wall cavity to the area of the, the bony opening. At this point, we're going to irrigate it. We place a catheter into the petrous apex and uh, flush and irrigate out with saline. We can see there's still some uh, thick viscous fluid that needs to come out. 
once this is completed, we want to maintain this opening post-operatively uh, by follow-up visits to maintain its patency.